Welcome back, guys, to Trails to Azure, where last episode, our chapter 3 day 2 patrol continued as we headed out to the cathedral and then Mines Mining Village, where we found Nilsson within one of the inn rooms, taking on another interview in the inside scoop, the terrorist attack. We then headed through the back alley and now patrol the entertainment district. It's early common for our deluxe suites to go vacant this time of the year. Oh, now they're making excuses. <laughs> that would be the perfect time to reserve one if you're interested. <laughs> The moment where the devs kind of go, you do realize we've got these really swanky sweets in this hotel and they're always empty, right? Uh, make an excuse. Our online reservation system has been earning rave reviews on the Orbal network. Now, if only there were more users overall. Not many quest guests utilize it at the moment. Still, I expect that we'll be receiving more bookings online than by phone once the Orbal net becomes more publicly available. One amazing benefit of our online system is that we can take reservations outside of our standard hours of operation. Unlike telephones, you can send or receive Orbal mail at any hour of the day. And the future. Hey, Paulia, you're drooling a little bit. And you're creeping me out, too. Two days. Just two more days until the big show. I can't wait to see what kind of chemistry Lady Illy and Sully have. How do you think they got to know each other? Oh, I'm dying to find out. Oh, I just have to let my mind fill in all the blanks. <sighs> my goodness. Well, I'll just step in. Ooh, I was kind of expecting to be shunned out. If they're really in the rehearsals, why would they let us in? Hello there, SSS. We appreciate your visiting. However, I regret to inform you that we're in the middle of a dress rehearsal for our revival production. That makes sense. The show was only a couple of days away. Man, I'd love to sneak a peek right now, but that probably wouldn't be cool of us. Correct. We should leave before we become too much of a distraction. Sorry to bother you, sir. That narrows down our sweeping. Argusiel is finally performing again in two days. You know what that means, right? More customers hungry for ice cream. <laughs> Business will be booming again in no time. I feel like we should finish up our sweep before questing further at this point. I don't know. The rival performance is opening in two days. I couldn't get tickets for opening night to nobody's surprise, but I will be attending a show the following week. I'm so excited. That night can't come soon enough. Hey there, wanna play? We'll give you the time of your life, guaranteed. Why? Why don't I? Welcome to Barca Casino. Well, what are you waiting for? Go play your hearts out. Is there anything new to exchange for? Fishing bait? Nothing that we haven't already bought by the look of it. Might want to stock up on chips again, just in case, though. Those spoiled brats had a lucky streak to start with yesterday, but they lost it all in the end. But they didn't lose with dignity. Instead, they cursed us out and scampered away, tails tucked between their legs. <laughs> and you're supposed to be kicking herself for allowing such men to walk the earth. It seems those cocky brats were too cowardly to come back to the casino today. Good, now I can enjoy playing in peace. Only amateurs sulk over a losing round. It is my hope that our guests will stand by their victories as well as their defeats. If you ask me, humans as a whole are natural thrill seekers. So with that in mind, how about a round or two? Sometimes the excitement is its own reward. I'm really wondering if I did have the IBC as part of my sweep already or not. Uh, my spins keep coming up empty today. If I don't come back home with at least as much mirror as when I left, that old battle axe will split me in two. Come on, you dang tokens, get out of there! <laughs> State independence is a perilous hornet's nest to poke when the balance of power in the underworld is still so volatile. I'm skeptical that anything will come and become of the referendum at first, but Erebony and Calvert will surely find a way to respond. Crossbell is in a tenuous enough position as is. If we're careless, the consequences could be grave. Yep. It's funny, though, how a city can just keep on humming, in a way, despite such a cloud hanging over them. I mean, what else are you supposed to do? Is the issue, isn't it? What else can you do? What quest do I have today still? Just to doubly check. Okay, those are done. We haven't reported them yet. We got theme park trouble at the harbor, and we got the 
package. Oh, yeah, we would like, let's do this first because it'll probably change dialogue in random places. And we still need to report about that. <laughs> the bellberry juice is a much more humane choice. Heard about those cryptid monsters that have been cropping up outside the city. The briefing we received said that they vanish after being defeated. Kind of spooky, if you ask me. Slightly. Pleroma grass is the gnosis ingredient mentioned in the cult's data, correct? What could possibly be causing it to suddenly start blooming all over Crosbell? We told literally everyone then. Ooh, I've got enough data. Let's get my pocket money again, right? Pocket money! <laughs> Don't forget to stop by once you've collected more monster data, okay? Thanks, we will. Of course, we'll keep you updated. We can hand over some more fragments too. I'm guessing it won't complete one full section yet, because that's just the way things have been going. At each form of information terminal O1 on our order. Oh, oh, what, what? All the data on information terminal O1 has been successfully analyzed. Would you like to go over it now? Yes, please. Are we even forced to? Okay. On our order. My name is Shochim Gunther, High Priest of D, therefore G. Six years ago, our order was on the brink of extinction due to the efforts of the authorities in Bracer Guild. I alone escaped danger and took refuge in this land of origin. It was the guidance of the Great D that helped me survive so I could realize the ambitions of our order. Since the time will surely come, I will record data in each of these terminals on which they shall base the New Testaments. To discuss the origins of our order, I will first have to turn to the abominable history of the Zemuria continent. The Great Collapse, approximately 1,200 years ago, marked at the end of an advanced civilization, and with it, the established order, giving rise to the bloodshed and poverty of the Dark Ages. In their fatigue, the people committed a grave sin. They led themselves to be deluded by the flattery of pompous fools and accepted their invented, self-centered cult with open arms. The foolish Septian church and their symbol, that goddess of the sky. The Dark Ages met its demise, and this faith spread throughout the continent. Let us consider. If said goddess truly existed, can we not assume that she would bestow equal salvation upon all of us? However, disparity yet exists, and people continue to perish in disasters and misfortunes. Does that mean said goddess discriminates upon whom she shall bestow salvation? This thought alone is too ludicrous for words. In the end, she is merely an idol invented by the Septian church to amass power. The goddess as such simply does not exist. Having reached that conclusion, our predecessors embarked on a long journey to find a true god. Their efforts were not in vain, for at the dawn of the Middle Ages, in the depths of this land, they found the possessor of great power in an eternal slumber. She was known as D. This data appears to be an entry about the cult itself. So it's true that their creed really did center around rejecting Adios. Right, that fits with what Yochim Gunther told us at the Sunfall. But what about this D? Do we still not know what it stands for? It would appear to symbolize what they believe to be the true god over Adios. It is also known that the G in the DG cult's name denotes what they refer to as true wisdom, Gnosis. Well, that puts to bed the question of what D, therefore G, actually means. If I remember correctly, Yochim said that Kia would become the true god. Wouldn't that imply that D is another word for Kia? Does that make sense? Just how much should that bastard Jochim know? There are still so many unanswered questions. Right, unfortunately there were also a lot of things that Jochim chose not to tell Ernest either. I can't ever wonder just how well we'd understand the particulars of the cult had we managed to capture him alive. Regardless, I think we'll be able to learn quite a bit if we continue analyzing these information terminals. If you find any other quartz fragments, come back and bring them to me. You're also welcome to review the data we've already encrypted whenever you like. Right, thanks for all your help, Rebecca. Well, I wasn't expecting to get that then. Dia now, yeah? Ah, Dio! <laughs> no. Doesn't quite work. And you now have new dialogue after that. Those plants and the cryptids. Something about them gives me the creeps. We need to do whatever we can to get to the bottom of it all. Be careful out there, everyone. Don't worry, we will. Thanks for the support, Fran. We'll be counting on you. Things have been tense ever since the mayor proposed independence. Now we have even more to deal with. It's giving me a bad feeling. I know worrying about it isn't going to do us any good, though. I have to stay calm and focus on the things I can control. Like this big pile of work in front of me. 
Machu Shale. Phew, that hits the spot. What's Detective Emma got there? Some sort of energy drink? I believe so. Perhaps she needs it to get through the day. I know that label. That's Sport NX. Wasn't expecting a funny daddy like you to go for something with so much oomph to it. What? Wazi, what watch what you say. I, I'm only drinking this because I pulled an all-nighter. And so what if I am anyway? Is it really so strange for me to utilize an effective source of bodily fuel? Answer me, Lloyd Bannings. Me? I didn't say anything. Hm, that's what I thought. Regardless, what do you think you're doing loitering around here? Shouldn't you be off taking care of support requests or whatever it is you do? R right. Someone got in trouble. Yeah, thanks to you. Shouldn't you all be doing support requests instead of loitering around? Yeah, I'll get to it. Yes, boss. I think we need to, sh like, whack Wazi one at this point. Hey, guys. Thanks again for the help yesterday. Oh, get a load of this. I had a dream about that old lady last night, and she was the one chasing me. Ah, I feel like I didn't sleep a wink. I was not contagious. She's the last person I want to see in my sleep. It would be better to forget about her. We'll never see her again. Hopefully. Honestly... We know this dream's a lie, because it wouldn't be chasing him. She would have caught him. No problem. <laughs> anyway, thanks again for yesterday. I really owe you one. I heard Raymond did a bang-up job yesterday, even if it was because he had your help. Still chasing that counterfeit dealer right into a group of straggling terrorists from the conference? That's almost too crazy to believe. Well, did Raymond tell you that he jumped onto a moving train? I didn't know he was athletic enough to do that. Crazy men. I feel like there obviously is a movie that's had this happen, but I feel like when we see these scenes in movies, TV programs, etc., there should be more instances of people going -dum -dum, badly. Do you know what I mean? It's not that easy, surely. <laughs> I don't get why our neighbors are so mean to us. What did Croswell do to them? And how come people keep telling me I'll understand when I'm older? I wholeheartedly support us becoming independent. Call it blind patriotism if you want, but I've made up my mind. The only question is, how would we protect ourselves from imperial and republic retaliation? I wish the two sides would hear us out, but I doubt it's going to be that easy. Yes. Only two more days until Golden Sun... Oh. <laughs> yes. I wish it had the full thing on... Only two more days until Golden Sun Silver Moon's revival production debut. So I was like, what? Why are they talking about the Golden Sun game? Oh, yeah. But I can't bear to wait any longer. Well, for a fourth Golden Sun game, we might have to wait forever. Welcome to the Crossbell Civic Center. If there are any events you would like to host here, fill out this application form and we'll see what we can do. Don't ever put it on two lines again. I can't understand things. Even General Affairs Second Division has begun to transition to orbital male usage. The problem is, mastering something new at my age is a bit of a challenge. And learning to handle those infernal keyboards will be the highest hurdle of them all. As if keyboards aren't bad enough, staring at a screen strains my eyes no matter what I do. What's so wrong with print media anyway? The time's gonna leave me in the dust at this rate. Lloyd's so adamant that there's no reason to head through that door, unlike the other one which we just shake and we can't enter. No reason! I guess it might be unlocked. Oh, I haven't done the library yet. Oh, I'll go there in a second. Mayor Croix pays his entertainment and travel expenses out of his own pocket rather than taxpayer money. What the hell? <laughs> I mean, he does. He's rich. I guess he is the CEO of the IBC, but still, it's good to know our mayor isn't the selfish sort. It actually, wow! My god, politicians are trying to rake all the money they can out of us. <laughs> this guy ain't. Rain, rain, stay away, come again another day. Have you ever had a look like this? Isn't the weather today great? Orcus Tower looks even better when it's under a clear sky. I'll be going around the twist of this, right? They told us the roof of Orcus Tower isn't open to the general public yet. That's too bad. I guess we'll have to come back some other time. Oh man, I want to see the view from the roof so bad. I mean, they're probably fixing up the g gun damaged windows, right? Really got shot up. 
Are there casings on the ground here? I wonder. We're expecting a lot more pedestrian traffic in this plaza once Orcus Tower is fully open to the public. That'll mean more work for us. We'll have to crossbell him. Watching people marvel at the tower will be a joy to behold. Ever since this plaza opened up, it's become a popular spot for citizens who want a place to relax. It's heartwarming to see friends and families enjoying their time together. Friends and families getting along under a bright crossbell and sky. It just warms your heart to see. It does indeed. I'm a member of the force just like you, but the staff members here treat me like part of their team. In fact, they even let me use the employee-only cafe and dining hall. The place is only halfway at the building, but that's still higher than the top floor of the IBC. The view there is great, but it makes me feel a little guilty that civilians can't visit there too. I bet they're thinking of opening that cafe to the public soon. I don't know if it'll actually happen, but I'm sure it'll be a popular spot. By my taste of crossbell quest. Is that baby the secret kicker? This is my first time visiting the tower. Even just this lobby takes my breath away. It's just so extravagant that I almost feel out of place. Do you all happen to know the origins behind Orcus Tower's name? Orcus comes from the word orchid. Orchids begin being plants with beautiful flowers that bloom one by one along a single stem. In other words, this building itself is like those very blossoms climbing their stalk, reaching upward into the sky. Fitting name when you think of that it that way, isn't it? Okay then. On opening day, this lobby was simply awash with clamoring guests having to see the sights from the tower. Admittedly, I took some delight in the astonished expressions they wore walking in through the doors. We're currently researching ways of promoting cultural exchange here in Croswell City. Suggested ideas include a sightseeing brochure center, an international cultural study class, and a shop with foreign goods. Our staff is working hard day after day to provide the citizens with even more helpful and enriching services. I hope you look forward to what Orcus Tower will be able to offer in the future. Sure thing. Anything going on this way? The middle elevator is still guarded. Do I have no authentication card? I do not. There's a lot to love about Orcus Tower, but the open space here on the first floor is my favorite part. Maybe I'm a little biased since this is my personal, but I can't imagine there ever being a more luxurious building. They can um, f f employ peace. I guess it is a town hall, so it is actually governmental. And police part of government. But still, I was like, it's weird to have the police just standing there by the elevator when they've also got like, one there, one there, one there, one there. But I guess, really, it's not actually that weird. The bobbies on the street, there are not too much of. Police presence. It's been almost a year since I opened this juice stall, and my sales have been pretty good, all things considered. I'm gradually earning lo loyal customers. My recent strategy of selling limited time juices has been paying off. Turns out the manufacturer's scarcity works. Who knew? <laughs> I can tell you, no, it's Nintendo. <laughs> Mario Collection. Selling new juices for a limited time only was my mum's idea. She's a businesswoman right down to her core. I'm always picking up useful ideas from her. Yes, manufacturing a uh, scarcity is a brilliant way of making cells. It's just not exactly friendly. <laughs> Fancy seeing you here late. Did you need something? Oh, don't act so surprised to see me, mister. You left your lunch behind, so I brought it for you. What? I never even noticed. Thank you, dear. Sorry to make you come all the way over here. <laughs> Miles does forget his lunchbox from time to time. I can't believe I'd ever forget to bring a lunchbox made with this much care and love. Good thing she thought to deliver it. I don't know what I'd do without her. Okay, the sweets edition is still the only newest entry. State independence, huh? What a proposal. If you review Croswell's history back to the Middle Ages, you'll see this isn't the first time it's pushed for sovereignty. But of course, none of those attempts were successful enough to have a lasting impact on the present. With that said, just because independence failed in the past doesn't necessarily mean it'll fail in the future. This proposal creates a movement that has the entire continent behind it. It, maybe it could work, yeah. Kia's been leafing through books like No Tomorrow over there. I suppose it's only natural that Abby would feel a little competitive. Wow, Kia's reading books all by herself. I gotta study up so I can do that too. Look at Kia spurring everyone on. 
Good morning and welcome to the Crosswell City Library. If you're looking for a book that's currently being borrowed, we'd be happy to reserve it for you. Feel free to ask me or the director to do so. Are you here again? Oh, hey guys. Getting some reading done, Kia. Sure am. I'm looking for something to cheer Shizuku up with on my next visit. I'm still deciding what book to bring, though. This one's pretty interesting so far. So far? But wait, that's from the Braille corner, isn't it? Kia, can you read Braille? Yep. Is that a big deal? A big deal. Someone help me out, because I didn't even know where to begin with this one. Did they teach you that in Sunday school? Nope, I picked it up while hanging out with Shizuku. Did you know that Mark and the Witch of the Deep Forest has a Braille version too? That made it a lot easier to pick up. I get that reading a book you're already familiar with would help, but still. Uncanny comprehension skills are hardly out of the ordinary for Arkea. The hell? Whoops, I just remembered that I have to go shopping for dinner. No worries, Kia. There's still time for evening. More importantly, make sure you find a good book that'll help cheer up Shizuku. I will. Thanks, Lloyd. I'll get those ingredients after, so don't spoil your appetite, okay? Uh, what kind of book would cheer Shizuku up? Hmm, this one looks pretty interesting, too. She's gonna be smarter than everyone in the SSS in two seconds. Give her a month. Can't be that hard to overtake some of us. Right, well, we've got the Harbour District where we have a quest next. We've done Orcus Tower. I think we should go off to uh, St. Ursula first. I say that, but uh, first of all to... Let's go to Central. There. Yeah, yeah. Go over here. All right, well, I, I earned that money, so I'm going to use it. By buying random car parts. Let's buy an overfender. Oh, yeah. A side step. We're going to... Pimp our ride, I guess. A rear spoiler for all the speed. was well, the downward force, isn't it? A front bumper. Didn't already have a bumper? What the f What if I crashed? Improved wheels. And I guess I'll buy these paintworks, despite the fact they're kind of useless. Probably not going to use the Ellie and Tio paintworks. But I'll buy them to say I have them. Right. Money is used. Capitalism ho. Completely uselessly spent as well when you think about it. Like it's really not a good use. Customize. Right. Over offender. What's that? Oh, it's over there. Sidestep. No, it's got the bars. Bad bars. Bad bars. Rear spoiler. Front bump. Oh my god, this is terrible. What we're doing here is just horrible. I've talked about these bars before. <laughs> Improved wheels. Do you know what? No joke. Bye. That's not a bumper. That's a child destroyer. Oh, if we get rid of the step, we get rid of the front bit, which is kind of like a tow bar, but... Well, I I disagree with some of this. We also now have most of the paints. Oh no, little Lady McDowell. Oh, my god. And a tear. These are terrible. I totally expected it to be terrible. Let's go with the cool. We got racing stripes. It's a cattle pit. Yeah, bull bars, we used to call them over here. I've talked about it in a previous one, I'm pretty sure. But, uh, yeah. A bumper in a car makes someone, if you run into them, hopefully go over you. Those bars, however, create increased fatalities on the road of people being hit by cars massively. They're horrible. Which is why I think they're banned now in the UK. I think. I just remember there being a big fuss about it at one point in time. Ain't good. I just remember there being big hubbubs about them. Unnecessary loss of life. Right, we have crabs. <laughs> this is where yes. I found my uh, yes. sephir, by the yes. way. Yes. I'm high enough level that I can just pop these guys. So now it's time to try and take on this bloke. Now that we can actually fish in here. So I'm going to save first. 
Because we only have a certain amount of crabs. And if we use all our crabs... Yes. I'm not going to go fish him up again. Ah, are you up to the challenge of a sudden death angler's duel with me? Here's how it works. We take turns casting our rods and the first who fails to reel in a catch will be the loser. It's time to do 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 That's the spirit. Let's get this thing started. Oh shoot. Which rods, uh... Which rods use crabs? I fluke. I can't remember. <laughs> hey, yeah, you got piranha. So it's sudden death. We got a... I think the bamboo rod does. Maybe it's a little shooter, actually, that has crabs. Okay. We can check. Hey, it was the bamboo rod. Viking Rob Cab. I have 11 crabs. Right. Zero win here. Are we at the mercy of RNG a bit? Because sometimes I hit at that point and it doesn't work. I've got Pirarushu instead of him. <laughs> Hey, I'm gonna lose. Take this. Does this mean he has loads of crabs? This man has crabs too. Arowana? Well, maybe I didn't need the crabs. Maybe I just got somehow unlucky. I don't know now. Now I'm worried. Well, I've got crabs. They're everywhere. <laughs> That sentence is not good, is it? <laughs> hey, I've got crabs. Oh, man, we're always going second. Ah! So we essentially just have to wait till he fails and match him the entire time, which kind of sucks. God damn it. <laughs> you like fish up a tire or something? My crabs! <laughs> ah, press that button! I don't even actually know when the proper time is. <laughs> Come on, sharp man, the ocean's edge. God damn it. Oh, well, now wondering if the crabs I have got is enough crabs. We may be here for some time, especially if I fail. Just imagine, I'm pretty good, thank you. Sounds like he's gonna fail now because his dialogue changed or something, I don't know. God. Yes, it is my turn. It's getting a bit much, isn't it? We're five crabs in. This is cast six. Does he ever fail? Oh my god! I don't like this setup. He has to fail for me to win, of course. This is horrendous. Maybe he's gonna run out of crabs. Who's gonna run out of crabs first? Maybe I should have got 50 crabs. I didn't even have that many earthworms. Come on, Shutman. You. I don't know. Something just. I could have had it. It's like screwed up. Oh, wait. I win as soon as you lose. Oh, okay. I like those rules. <laughs> and then, before I lose to a pretty boy like you, yeah, take this. It's proof that you tame the ocean's edge. I feel like I should have to go, though, because you started, so I should go, and then it's like, if I fell too, we should keep going. Like, that should be the rules, right? That would be the rules that you think of. 
All right, Ocean Edge Medal. Thanks. Well, I know what this calls for a title. From now on, you're the Ocean Tamer. I know it makes you want to puff your chest out, but don't get cocky, kid. Don't forget, I'm Sharpman, the Ocean's Edge. In other words, my home turf is out in the open blue. Had this been a sea fishing duel, you'd have been torn asunder. Right. Cramps complete. Be a fish or a human like me, we were brothers born of the sea. <laughs> sure, mister. Do you know what? Now I might just go out to the harbor district and do that instead. Because I'm thinking about timings. We've just been an episode, more or less, of full sweep. <laughs> I'm going back with my cool paintwork. I kind of want to change it back to the soldier paintwork straight away, to be honest. <laughs> We're going to the harbor district. Let's continue our sweep. But in the direction of a quest. Because then Crosby will be done and St. Ursula will be last. Works, right? Well, actually, uh, Crosbell Airport will be last, right? We're going to have that independence referendum in just over a week, right? Which way should we go? I need to make up my mind pretty soon. Not to pat myself on the back, but today's noodles are top notch. Give them a try. I put my blood, sweat, and tears into them. Well, not literally, of course. He's going to run away. He's going to get away. Oh, he turns my way. Yeah, got him. All right, I'm fired up today. Now, let's see. What would be the most efficient route to take? Into my face by the look of it. I've got to watch out about being in here. Oh, there's loads of people in here. Oh, I see. I was hoping today would be the day. Unfortunately, no. Mr. Nielsen is in mines right now and won't be back until late. There we go. You may have been better off leaving a message saying you wanted to meet. Yeah, no kidding. In that case, could you let him know that I stopped by? I most certainly can. May I ask where you're staying? That way he'll know how to get back to you. I have a room at Long Now over on East Street. Tell him to get in touch any time. I'll drop whatever I'm doing the second he's available. Looks like our dialogue with her is through her. We've got, we've got an editorial meeting this morning. All this big news lately has stirred up a lot of debate, so the office has been pretty enthusiastic about covering it. <sighs> okay, I should go over my materials again before we have that meeting. We're discussing the independence issue, so I'm going to want to make sure I know what I'm talking about. Better make sure I know this issue inside and out beforehand, or I'm not going to be a have much to bring to the table. All right, time to sort through this material. Why do you keep your material in a box out here? Phew, nothing like a morning dose of Java to get the juices flowing. You guys want some? Well, we got his can right now, but it gets the job done. We're good, but thanks for asking. Hey, suit yourselves. Anyway, I heard you guys killed it with that cryptid extermination mission. I suppose, but where did you... Is there any way your eyes and ears don't reach? What can I say? It pays to have good sources in this line of work. And hey, I'm also looking out for you guys. Wouldn't want the SSS to wind up in a hospital room. The first wealth is health, you know. That goes for you and me both. The first wealth is health. True enough, thanks for the concern. Cryptids though, eh? Can't say I really understand whatever the heck those things are. Just be sure to watch out for yourselves. You wouldn't want to end up in a hospital room. Yeah, it's interesting. They've just got a name for it and they've got no real explanation that no one knows. You feel like with the amount of monsters on the road, the pool bars make sense? Just be very careful in town. <laughs> we'll install it whenever we leave then, right? I can understand it being used where they are, but not on a road-going vehicle that goes anywhere near pedestrians. 